the animated padding. First thing we need is a double padding value, which we call at zero when we start. This one is just the value of the padding that will be used inside the animated padding widget. In the column with multiple widget, we will have the first widget that is an elevated button. The style will be a color orange accent. The child will be a text change padding. And when we press on it, this will set state and change the value of the padding value. If the padding value is currently equal to zero, then it will be 100, otherwise it will be zero. This line of code will just alternate between zero and 100 for the padding value. Under the elevated button, we will have a text saying padding is equal to the padding value. Under we have the animated padding that use the padding agentsets.all with the pad value variable. The duration is two second. We can add a curve animation. This one will be the is in out, but you can use any curve. The child is a container and the width is the media query dot of context dot size dot width, which is the width of the screen. The height will be the height of the screen divided by four. The color is orange accent. And every time you press on the change padding, this will set the padding as zero or 100. And you can see that the animation of the padding is done automatically by Flutter with the animated padding widget.